as far as I'm concerned, Charlotte is one of the best heels in WWE, male or female. Everything mm. that I see, well, most of what I see from her, she's firing yeah, on go. all cylinders. I saw that segment that she did with Mick Foley and Sasha Banks, the contract sh- signing. I you mean the Banks one where Mick Foley was screaming off the top of his lungs yes. for and no goddamn reason? Can I you update just so, it's just so you guys are aware? I still cannot stand his motherfucking guts. Now, I understand that some people are going to be like, well, Jay, isn't what he did on Monday, it, isn't that what you wanted from him? You wanted him to talk to them about the, the risks and the... Um, Thank you. All of the, all of the uh, <laughs> you know, all of the problems well, the and perils that of Hell in a Cell. Exactly. Uh, I said on Twitter, I was like, hmm, Mick Foley seemed enraged and just very disturbed in that segment you almost couldn't tell he was the one who booked the motherfucking match just a few weeks ago he was like a damn cheerleader at a pep rally going yay i'm rewarding you guys with the hell in a cell match now what two or three weeks later you're in the ring and you're telling them about the risks of a match that you fucking put them in what i being yeah. the type of person that i am liking continuity storytelling it's difficult to accept what i got from mick foley on raw knowing that he was the one who booked the goddamn match he booked the match you, you, you did why didn't you air those concerns for them when your ass was in the ring with your pom-poms going rah rah women's revolution he's a kiss, hey. kiss ass He's a fanboy. That's what he is. Mark Foley. Yeah, <laughs> Mark Foley. Wow. This is retrospective booking at its finest because I was hoping, and I'll be honest, we've already mentioned it. I hadn't watched a full, like I haven't sat down and watched a full episode of Raw since. Join the club. He followed yeah, that for, drinking gourd. Seriously. Yeah. It must be for at least five or six weeks now because I've just been catching clips on YouTube. But what I know of this uh, women's division feud is that the content that Sasha and Charlotte are putting out in and of themselves, I think, is perfectly fine. It's but good. It's it's very good. And to Jay's credit, Charlotte being a good heel, male or female, is awesome. And I agree because she always gets a reaction from me. Usually it's taboo, but that's what you want. It's not mm-hmm. just indifference. Looking at Charlotte and Sasha, this is booking them in a Hell, hell in a Cell match. You know, hit, being historical just for the sake of being historical. A Hell in a Cell match, which is what we're supposed to believe, is the most dangerous, most death-defying Didn't match. I say that last week? Didn't I say that last week? Yeah, like, it's supposed to be the most brutal match you can put two people that absolutely hate each other's guts. It's supposed to be a blood feud match, and mm-hmm. so far all we've heard is, the women have never done this before, so let's break boundaries, let's break down barriers, and let's, let's headline Hell in a Cell in a women's Hell in a Cell match. And... Finally, once we get this confirmed and it's the go-home show to the pay-per-view, we're told how dangerous this is. Actually, that it's doesn't... not really confirmed that they're going to main event the show. Oh, yeah, we'll it's talk no. about that oh. uh, soon. Good. Oh, yeah, I don't want to... I'll let... We'll get to that when we get to that. We'll, we'll fucking get there. <laughs> the, I, don't, I don't understand what legitimacy... Like, aren't Charlotte... Just as people, aren't Charlotte and Sasha pissed off? Because it almost feels like it's a, you know, a political venture. Like, look... The women are doing something they've never done before. But yeah, but and that's that's, the, that's the messed up part about it because by simple virtue of that being one of the top feuds on Raw, male or female, well, I'll put it like this: if they were males, it would have been in a Hell in a Cell because it's one mm. of the top feuds on the show. But the problem is they can exist on their own with the heat that is built up between sasha banks and charlotte i firmly believe that in this era of wwe with what we know this hell in a cell to be these days a bastardized version of a hell in a cell (laughs) that works however they are unnecessarily throwing all of the historical implications and all of that bullshit on it and it's weighing it down to a point where it's like just get out of your own fucking way don't let your ambitions get the best of you and don't throw on all of this political bullshit leave that to people like us let us talk about that and 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 we'll carry that torch we'll hold that torch and we'll run with it but if you have a legitimate feud between two athletes two competitors let that exist let them breathe there because you'll do nothing but lose people if you're put into a position where it's you're doing something that's progressive but 
you want to make sure that you get credit for being progressive so you yell it at the top of your fucking lungs no D don't let them breathe god damn it just 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 back up quit stifling the women <laughs> yeah yes, and then just let it happen organically yes because it was it fucking good it is good and there's it's uh, been decent i will say from well, what i've seen i will I, say I'm, decent i'm saying based off of what i saw because i i my whole thing is criticize when necessary give credit where credit is due i think wwe did an amazing job with the way that they um promoted the main event um that uh, sasha banks and charlotte had on raw a few weeks ago yeah and the mm -hmm. way that they handled that that was nicely done if they had just yeah i give them that, that if they had just taken that and continued on that same trend and just told the story of two competitors don't tell the story of two women these are two women that are doing this just tell the story <laughs> of two competitors and you would have been in a better position than you are right now but speaking of main events there's a lot of talk going on you know the street, the streets are talking and what they are saying is that there's a bit of conflict surrounding this hell in a cell match between sasha banks and charlotte and the big conf conflict is whether they're going to be the main event or, or? not and what and i mean then... by main event is the last fucking match of the show don't let um... no mercy fool you Yes. Okay. <laughs> Main event, last match of the show. I actually have some information that will definitely add on to this conversation as I found what out. What you got? Oh shit! What you got? Like, okay, people. As it turns out, by like, of course we have that triple triple main event BS that they're trying to spew out of their ass. We all know it's bullshit. Are you talking but, about yeah, that um, Chris Jericho, Kevin Owens stuff? Yeah, like that, you know, the whole triple the main event for Hunter Cell. But yeah, um, as far as this um women's championship match going on last, apparently Triple H and most of the creative right now are all for Sasha Banks and uh, Charlotte main eventing the show, being the last match. Mm -hmm. However, Vince McMahon, shockingly, and the higher ups in WWE have a fear that if this match goes on last, that people will actually start leaving. Even if they put it in the middle of the show, there's a fear that they might start leaving. And also to add on to this, it is this this is this is definitely a guarantee though. This match Wait, will start be, leaving before Sasha Banks and Charlotte yeah. or start leaving after or, 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 or like leaving during the match. Like you know how like they leave, leave the arena. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, like yeah, not like leaving or just not to watch. But yeah, I mean just to just to clarify people, this is a guarantee. This match will not be in the middle of the show. It will either be first or or last, it will either be one. It will not be in the middle. See, I say, like, why not put him so on last? Because it's not like, like got much no, else no, going on. A, I mean, I think from a here's the thing. This is what I. This is where we all need. I feel as if we need to like come back and actually face reality. Whether we and get this, I am not being sexist or anything. But, I am not. I am off board. But... <laughs> yes, however, I am all for the women being in the main event because they do deserve it. However, like they 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 do deserve it, but we got to keep in mind at the end of the day, wrestling is a business. Okay. I'm just I'm, I'm just saying to keep that keep that keep I mean, that in so mind. Like you're, you're saying well, that to say what that they yeah, they, that's, they, they that's don't have open. the ability to draw because they have the no they have the ability to draw. I'm just saying like have we all forgotten like who still runs this company? Like, I just what? don't want people to get their high hopes on everything because I guarantee you if they don't main event, I won't be shocked about it and I won't be pissed off about. It. I'm just looking at it from a realistic perspective. And I understand that, Cass. Like, believe me, I do. But you know what this says to me? If we are correct in saying that Vince McMahon and a few of his yes men feel that it would be wrong to put the women as the main event, the closer of the pay per view, that's them admitting that their build up for this match was horseshit. Yeah. Yeah, See, exactly. I'm I was just saying. Thinking, um, like, I heard a rumor saying that if this match was the first match of the night or somewhere in the middle of the show people would be leaving after that match as if this was what people were going to be um coming to see with it being in boston sasha banks hometown all of that good stuff like that's what i that heard. makes better sense yeah. like if 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 the if the stigma you're building up is okay ignore the build up just say let's just assume we're all okay with it being built up for the sake of history 
if you're making history, why not make history last? Yeah. Like, why is there an issue then? Like, if we're going to accept the crappy narrative you gave us, even if we don't like it, if you're making history, it should be the last thing you see. And also, you got to keep in mind, though, for, like, the quality. I, 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 like, I really had to, like, really look into this so I don't come off sounding like an ass. Like, you got to, like, think, this is a hell in a cell match. Dalton, you mentioned this is one of the most brutal matches in WWE history. If this match goes on last, which I think it should, again, I'm going to reiterate, I think it should, uh, do you think that the audience might rogue against it? Because I guarantee you this is going to be probably more of an athletic contest inside the ring because I guarantee you we will oh. not see any weapons. We will not see any tables. We won't see any of that. And it's like you have to, when you made a bet with a Hell in a Cell, people somewhat expect There's a certain, certain level of expectation happen, there. I, yes, I get for you the now. Cell. now. So it's like, if the, like, like here's a Zach move. What if the cell was to break? Now, like, and, something and, like that right there. And this is a very important discussion to have. And I think that, you know, if I was in the business of giving the creative team credit or, you know, the, the, the powers that be backstage, I hope this is the fucking conversation that they're having. Like, if, you know, we we have to somehow, some way balance the fact that we have the first ever women's Hell in a Cell match and also think about what form is this match going to take? And this is something that I have not questioned that much because it's like, okay, well, shit, I just accepted the fact that, yeah, they're going to be in a Hell in a Cell. But that is a very important question to ask. What form is this match mm -hmm. going to take within the hell in a cell and if they do not go for the gusto if they don't go over the top with the booking of this match then maybe it would be better <laughs> if they didn't <laughs> main event. like so, so it, it is a dilemma there it is sorry jay i didn't mean to uh cut you off with laughing but it just the thought just occurred to my head whether they go for a weapon spot Regardless, oh man, knowing <laughs> Sasha and Charlotte's track record, someone's gonna get hurt. So. Yes. <laughs> what, what's that? Uh, somebody's gonna get the ass kicked. Somebody's gonna get the wig split. But that might be like literal. Dang. In that case, man, that's going way. Let back. me go ahead and wet, uh, let me find some wood to knock on. Cause I don't want that. I like. I wish the best for them. And I know Sasha Banks. She's she's fucking crazy. And Charlotte is too. I mean, corkscrew moon salt and. All that shit Which, from thank the top God, row. Vince McMahon stopped her from doing that when she asked for that. Thank God. But, uh, yeah, like, th both of them are crazy as hell. So, I don't, I don't, I don't know. The damn cast, you, you had to, like, get me all concerned and scared and oh, stuff. Man. Now. I'm, I have, <laughs> see, this is why I'm on this program. So, I, because I'm the realistic guy. Like, I had to bring his, because here's Wait the thing. Wait a minute. When, for when, week, when did what? you decide this? We didn't. We didn't vote on this. <laughs> Remember, it's my ego. But here's the thing. Again, like ever since this match was announced, think about it. This is a topic, a conversation that's been going on for weeks and weeks and weeks since this match was made. Mm -hmm. Since this match was announced, I just had to like, like I said, just had to bring up some facts because these are all the variables that play in. 